Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Drive by Gigi. Today, something quite exciting. We're off to Porsche uh, in Hatfield to join my friend Mark uh, for the collection of his brand new Porsche uh, Turismo Cross 4S. Um, he's spec'd it up massively, so should be good. Come along for the ride, hopefully get some footage at Porsche, uh, slightly behind the scenes and see what they've got in the garage. Enjoy and here we go. Okay, why would you buy the Turismo Cross? Um, this is really aimed at drivers that want to have a uh, estate vehicle because uh, there's not really any difference in power between the Taycan and the, and the Cross Turismo. They're really identical. Um, it's only if you got to the turbo, it's going to be quicker. So as a light for light comparison, uh, they're identical in terms of power. The Turismo is about 100 kilos heavier. Um, and basically you've got a big boot and, and if, you're, if you've got, you know, if you're regularly going to carry people in the back of the vehicle, um, you've got much more headroom. So, um, Please leave the roundabout at the third exit and continue to follow A320. Never feel when you've got your sat nav, you won't shut up. Now the list price is around about £88,000, there or thereabouts. Um, this specification that I'm showing you today, and I will go in more detail in another video. Um, the price in total was around about £116,000. So the rest of those are options. So this is a very highly specced Taycan uh, Cross Turismo. Um, so be interested to see what you think. This one's got the vegan interior, um, 21 inch wheels, um, Burmeister 3D audio system, which should be epic. Um, so yeah, be interesting to see if all that amount of money on the extras really does make it feel special. It was already a nice car, um, but I'm sure it will. Porsche do things really, really well. And generally, I have to say, being a car fan my whole life, you know, if you do get extras on a car, whether you buy a brand new or second hand, it's really enjoying using. It's really enjoyable using all the features. It just adds to the, uh, the the involvement with the car and everything. So. If you, you know, if you can afford to spec it up, why not? Uh, it does add to the driving pleasure and the experience of owning a car, especially if you're buying it brand new. It's um, by far cheaper to spec something when you're buying it brand new than to try and do it afterwards. Most manufacturers won't do it, um, but those that do will charge you handsomely for it. So um, tip number one. To those of you fans who are watching, who like watches, uh, Today I am sporting a nice Prepare to keep right. Tag Hoyer Monza um, Classic from 2006. Um, I bought this from Watchfinders <coughs> with paper and all the original boxes. Um, this watch was launched by Tag in uh, 2006. I think there was previous models to this um, to celebrate uh, Nicky Lauda joining the uh, the Ferrari team. So. It's a bit of an unknown watch. Um, there's quite a few out there, um, but they're a nice, you know, I just like the look of it. Um, it's an automatic watch, quite different. So there we go. If you like your time pieces, I thought you might enjoy that. Okay, so I've arrived at Porsche Hatfield and they've very kindly agreed to let me do some filming. Uh, it's one of their brand new showrooms. Quite impressive, just looking around the, uh, the forecourt in the front. They've got four Porsche fast charging points. Um, and typically Porsche, they look fantastic. Let me know what you think in the comments. But so far, very impressive afternoon in Porsche Hatfield.
really great timeline of all the different Porsches that have ever been produced. So this is the uh, my friend's car under wraps in the showroom. Not much you can see at the moment, but I'm sure it's going to look very good. There you go. It really does look big under the cover. Hey, we're just about to unveil the new Porsche Cross Turismo 4S. Ready when you are. Oh, look at that, it's all electric as well. Even the little cover gets pulled off and it's really nice. Go. First drive in his new car. One great thing about YouTube is it gives me loads of data around um, how many views I have on my video, uh, which countries people are from that watch my videos, um, how long people watch them for. Um, so yeah, so if you're watching, uh, apparently my main viewers are from America, the great United States of America, uh, who I happen to love and enjoy many trips over the years to Florida, uh, New York, Philadelphia, really great places to go if you've never been. Can't beat a baseball game. Um, I'm driving on the, on the road, uh, which everybody calls in the UK the world's largest car park, otherwise known as the M25. Now it's half past two on a Monday more afternoon and I'm stuck in a traffic jam worst road in the country honestly doesn't matter how many lanes they add to this road I mean there's currently four lanes here prepare could, to keep right you could add 10 lanes to this road and it'd still be a nightmare I think it's just the the network of roads that lead into the M25 and off the M25 and maybe they weren't quite spaced out enough when they initially were built so don't judge me on that I could be completely wrong but that's just a, a sales reps view of how the motorway network works in the UK. Okay, really great day filming yesterday at Porsche in Hatfield. Uh, the Porsche uh, Taycan Cross Turismo 4S is excellent. Um, it tires your body out, it accelerates so fast. Um, I hope you like this video. There's gonna be more videos coming along very soon or similar to this content. Please subscribe and remember, ask me as many questions as you like and I will come back. Thanks for watching.